the Summer Plate Handicap Chase is next up then at Market Raisin. And the rain is coming down now. This is a two and three quarter mile, 0 to 140. And James Bond at the top for David Hooley. Penny Bray, Craig Beckwith, Achain Byrne and Sapphire and Steel for Martin. We've lost the rest of the cards, so we'll try and figure them out as we as we go. As they race down towards the first of the 17 fences they've got to negotiate here then. And it's Penny Bray for Craig Beckwith pulling for its head on the outside that's the early leader then Mentalia for Alex Cherry in the Scottish flag colours with the orange sleeves as they continue on their run towards the first the one closest to us is Kevin Minahan's one ball that's in green with the orange hoop as they get to the first which they're all safely over and the two in the red rum colours and both look pretty similar as they get over the next the first one of them is Achain Byrne and the second one is Sapphire still has a four of their rooting for you's gone so that's one of David Hooley's out the other purple jacketed horse is David Hooley's other one that's um, James Bond as they get to the water which they'll bypass in a couple of circuits time so it's Penny Brain the leader for Craig Beck with Mintalia for Alex Cherry in second Womble for Kevin Meenahan third then Sapphire and Steel for Martin Lee on fourth with James Bond in fifth place for David Hooley sixth place is Akane Byrne for Martin Lee seventh is Atonement for Joshua Sutherland and the back marker is Psychopath for Graham Clutterbuck the one D party so far rooting for you for David Hooley so that's the full field mentioned there as they now race into the final two miles and get down to the next and over it they go with Penny Bray clearing the lead by a good five lengths to Mentalia in second and Akane Byrne as they get over the next and they get back to Womble and James Bond Sapphire and Steel Atonement and finally Psychopath at the back let's hope Psychopath isn't a psychopath otherwise goodness knows what might happen anyway we're all safely over that one but if it does get into too much trouble I suppose James Bond will sort it out for us or maybe even Sapphire and Steel will step in and then at the end of the day the Womble will come round and clear up all the mess but anyway Penny Bray's in the lead can't think of anything clever to say about that one. Mentali is second, and Akane Byrne is third, then James Bond and Womble, and Sapphire and Steel, and then Atonement, and finally Psychopath at the back. So into the final mile and a half already then. At the halfway point in the jumping, and Penny Bray is the leader. From Mentali a second, Akane Byrne third, and then James Bond with a Womble on his outside, and Sapphire and Steel was coming between those two they get to number eight atonement is just being pushed along a little bit which is quite surprising as they get to the ninth comes up pretty quickly after the eighth and they're up past the stand again now they'll come down and take this one it'll be the last on the next circuit then they'll take the water next time round they'll go up that little chute there to the winning post and it looks like they uh, they're going to take the water this time yep they're taking the water which is what they should have done the chute as you can see is down to the right and it's Penny Bray in the lead with Akane Byrne second and a gap back to Sapphire and Steel third Womble on the outside is fourth then comes Mentalia with Atonement and James Bond and finally Psychopath at the back eyeing everybody up but it's Penny Bray in front and Akane Byrne now coming on the outside to challenge for the lead stable mate Sapphire and Steel is back in third and then Womble Get over the 12th. And Penny Bray in the lead pretty much all the way down to this ditch. All over it nicely with Akane Burn second, Sapphire is still third, Womble fourth, James Bond fifth. Now Atonement starting to make a bit of a forward move. Psychopath likewise, Mentalia is the one who's dropping away and struggling. But it's Penny Bray being hard ridden into number 14. And over that one they all go. Three more fences to take then. And Penny Bray in the lead from Akane Byrne and Sapphire and Steel together. Then comes James Bond making a move around the outside. Womble and Atonement are still there. Psychopath is still making ground around the outside. I think we can forget Mentalia. That one's out of it. But Penny Bray is the leader. James Bond now sweeping around the outside into second. Sapphire and Steel tries to respond. Womble's going to try and get up the inside. Then comes Akane Byrne. Psychopath is still making ground around the outside. And Atonement's coming into it looking for somewhere to go. Can't decide whether to go inside or outside. The jockey's in two minds. But it's still 
Penny Bray in the lead. Penny Bray now being challenged by Sapphire and Steel as they come down there towards the final couple of fences, and it's Sapphire and Steel is taking it up over the third last they go. Sapphire and Steel's over in the lead from in second place now. The stable companion Sapphire and Steel over it. They go Sapphire and Steel from Akon Burn chasing. These two have gone clear. They're racing towards the final fence, and Sapphire and Steel runs in the lead. Akon Burn runs in second. These two have suddenly pulled well clear of Womble and Penny Bray, and up towards the line, Sapphire and Steel is going to take it. Sapphire and Steel is the winner. Akon Burn second, Womble third, and Atonement Penny Bray, Psychopath James Bond and Mentalia and Sapphire and Steel the winner of the Fox Hunters at Cheltenham sorry at um, Aintree a couple of weeks ago bypassed the starters order sixth final to come here and has taken it the move paid off and Sapphire and Steel takes it for Martin Lee McCain Burn for the same stable second Womble for Kevin Meenham was third Atonement Josh was with them fourth and a long time leader Penny Bray was fifth <laughs>